Hey everybody out there on the internet. No, this video isn't broken. That's exactly how this whole review is gonna look. Just roll it, man! It may come as a shock to some of you, but I love soccer, as a matter of fact. I played it for 13 years growing up. However, soccer is one of those games that doesn't exactly translate well into movie formats. I mean, very few movies regarding soccer have ever done well to begin with. But what happens if someone like Video Brinquedo, and you know them for doing their wonderful works on Disney princesses and really doing a bang-up job on things like little cars, what could they do? to the world's game, to say, hey, we can make a better soccer movie. Well, let's watch and find out, shall we? The magic's in the ball, the magic's in the foot, but the kid has nothing to do. He doesn't know who he is in school. They fill his head with air, and dreams he sees, he's set for cool as some real. No. 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 Look, I ain't, I'm not even gonna bother. Look, I already sat through tiny robots, I already knew that was gonna be a shit bomb. I barely survived Tony Hawk. You think I'm going to be able to do round two of Video Brinquedo? And this is already the level of shit I've got to deal with? <laughs> Fuck you, no. No. Absolutely not. I'm done. I'm out. Fuck all of you. Review over. The Fuck who's calling me now? Aw, oh, shit. Hello? Yeah? I was starting it, but I can't do it. It's too shitty. Look, fuck you. No, this is bad. In ways I can't even describe. I'm, I'm out. I'm, I'm walking out. What? Penalty? What the hell are you talking about? I didn't sign anything like that in the contract when I started this stupid channel. Well, what happens if I say I don't want to do this? I mean, clearly the first ten seconds of the fucking thing, I don't even want to be involved. So what the fuck? I gotta do what? You sure? Alright. Thank you. Thanks. Hmm. Yeah, have a good day. Fuckhead. Well, that was my imaginary agent. And he said, if I don't review this, I have to be strapped to a seat and watch the Ricky One porno. So, let's see how great this movie is. Hey, homie, get a load of this ball. The honey's always checking me out when I'm holding it. <laughs> well, I guess public masturbation is legal in Brazil. So this bland pile of pixels is BR, the hero of this broken mess, talking to his buddy Palincha about getting paid playing soccer. You want a thesis for this <coughs> Film here? Here you go. What are you saying, Palincha? You want to be rich just to show you're a bonehead? <laughs> you know, you're just like your older brothers. Really smart. Aren't they making good money? Well, they did some college courses, and now they're out there doing their thing. So, they just left to go off and become rich? What are you talking about? Uh, movie? Take it from me. Uh, a fancy piece of paper does not guarantee you fat bank. Actually doing shit does! What is with these guys making love to soccer balls? I know passion's in the title, but don't go sexing up the balls! At least not in public. So in a fit, BR kicks the ball far away, and the boys chase it down, and soon discover another soccer field. They act like it's a monumental discovery. Jesus, do you two ever leave your village, or are you just denied access to the Forbidden Zone? It's right over the fucking hill! Oh, think, man, it could be that synthetic stuff, huh? Plastic grass, fool. Why would anybody want to play on plastic grass? You don't get it. Sometimes rich people invent things just to be different from everyone else. You know, that's some of the deepest, poignant, most asinine shit I've ever heard. But you know what? He might be onto something there. Woohoo! It's even more beautiful close up. Truly awesome, bro. Wow! wow.
Holy shit, that is creepy. Probably better without shoes. You're right. I'd love to feel the soft grass between my toes. Okay. How long are you going to talk about the grass? Seriously. How long? I know you come from the poor side of town and grass is viewed as a commodity, but honest to Pete, get on with it, man! So, is it real? What's that? The grass, man. Is it real? Oh my god, call a doctor or tell Video Brain Quato how to do anatomy because what is up with his arm? Well, let me go, man. Ah. Ah. The gate's open. Let's go in. Did I miss something? The hell just happened? The door just magically opened. You telling me because of that all of this shit could have been avoided with the fence climbing? So the idiots frolic with the grass when the members of the local football club show up asking about their trespassing. So they banter back and forth, and then it's time for... Mortal <laughs> Most unseemly. Soon the club's coach comes in to break up the fight, and questions the trespassers. And then this happens... Something! God, do something! I know this is called an animated feature. Here's a thought. Animate something! I don't give a damn what! Just make something move! I don't care if it's them blowing each other! Make. Shit. Move! How about playing a friendly match with the Bacana boys here? So the coach decides to set up a friendly match between the teams instead of calling the police. Nice to see the bourgeois treating the proletariat nice for once. Marx would be proud. And he's Baroba. He doesn't talk much because he's shy. Alright, so this poor soul right here is Baroba. And I feel so bad for this dude the entire time. He gets shit on so much. Every scene with him is just bad. And it's quite painful to watch. But... If anything, I just want you to know that I pray that Cartoon God watches out for him throughout the entire film. Leave it to me, coach. Hey, what are the names of your guys? My name's Kyle Lavodi. Mauro Shinaglia. Mar Somio. Marisi Shindit. And my name is Fred Goldengate. <laughs> what? You mean to tell me Timothy McFuckwhite was taken? Could you not think of a bigger, douchier name for the blonde-haired, blue-eyed guy? <laughs> what the fuck? What? BR? This is Dianea. She is apparently the love interest of BR. She also has some secret powers which include freeze-frame animation and the ability to walk through the ground. And there are some things I can't resist. Hey, BR! BR! What the fuck is this? This is the second time in 90 seconds. I know the story is shit, but by God, these freeze frames are killing me. Hey, I'm out of here. Catch you later. Palincha. Palincha. Okay, now you've kicked the lazy bullshit level to 11. This is insane. Who looked at this and said, fine, we'll go with it. Might have given this a pass if it had some anime speed lines, but it doesn't even have that. Hey, what did I do? That wasn't cool, BR. This old bag is the local sage or something to that effect. She's like the oracle from the Matrix, only utterly useless and probably has patchouli oils or does peyote or some stupid shit. I get that she might be like Yoda, but her parts are just awkward and weird. I need to watch over this situation very carefully. There are things yet unrevealed. Hey, Mauru, what's the matter? Did you take the wrong bus? The bus? We didn't take the stinking bus. Yeah, we ain't poor peasant shit like you. We rode up here on the backs of our servants, assholes. So this is Bia. Probably short for Biatch. She starts playing head games with BR, making him lose focus. I will tell you this. Her voice acting makes me lose focus. I understand. Then it's a done deal. And for me. Would you go head to head for me? Do you have to think about it, boys? Am I not worth the contest? Maybe if get you to shut up, then yes! I'll be waiting over here for the answer. Oh, oh. Hmm, baby! 
Yes! So the boys compete for when Um Um uh, No. No. I am not going to waste my day with lazy shit like this. I am going to do something more constructive with my day rather than watch shit this bad. So, here's what I'm going to do. Hey! How you doing? The review? Eh, it could be going better. But, uh, I'm calling you to tell you I'd rather watch the rookie porno. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I I'll take that. Uh, how soon can you get that here? Really? Alright. Uh, I'll take that. Cool. I'll be waiting. Alright. Bye. <sighs> at this point, I have no problem watching Rookie 1 porno. Not at all. Why? I've sat through Rookie 1. It's bad. Sure it is. Fart jokes and non sequiturs that make no sense. That's totally fine. All you're doing is adding dicks. I can handle that. How bad could it be? Because there's two things I can't stand. That's the sound of a screaming woman and the smell of burnt rubber. So BR loses the match and the girl when... Oh God. I'm the sixth element. What? I can barely wrap my head around the fifth element. Now we have a sixth element? Aw, oh, shit. Amis, you guys really messed up this time. Oh, goody, goody, goody. The creator from Tiny Robots is back and doing his voiceover in a tin can. I love voice acting in Video Brain Quato Productions. Mwah! Listen up. Everyone give me 50 sit-ups and 15 laps around the field. Right now. Oh, oh you on. Come 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 on. I have seen that walk before. That is the walk of a man who needs to find a bathroom immediately before his colon collapses. I'm here, ma'am. Come in and sit down at the table, my boy. My boy? Coach here looks half past ancient. What does that make you? Quarter tilt decrepit? So the Oracle tells Old Man Morpheus that BR is the Neo, because of course he is. Video Brinquedo, fuck it. And you became afraid that perhaps you didn't know how to score goals anymore. Am I right about that? Uh, yeah. And do you know why you felt this way? Uh, I was playing with a friend and got completely distracted by other things. According to the Oracle, BR lost the match because of his lust? Uh, okay. Oh, wait! <laughs> How silly of me! I totally forgot the third commandment of soccer. Thou shalt not be stiff when playing with your ball! Yeah. At that moment, all you could think about was your own desires. All you knew was what you thought you wanted. Yeah. You didn't stop to seriously consider would it be a good thing or a bad thing for your team. As penance for your sins, you should do ten Hail Marys and thirty bicycle kicks. What is this, Carnival of Souls? I don't need close-ups of lip and tongue action now! Today you were going down that road, going off the good path. Mmm! Suffering leads to anger, anger leads to hate, hate leads to penalty kicks, yes! Don't worry, coach. I'm sure this will be the last time they even step on a grass field. You know what I've always told you. Technical ability always outdoes improvisation. In other words, having talent without tactical discipline is almost completely useless. We'll win no problem. Yeah, but... Have you considered... But what about... Oh, fuck it. After this match, I guess they'll never come around here again. That would be sad. Oh, give that girl an Oscar! Holy shit! 50, 51, 52... Hey, you interrupted my counting! Hmm? <sighs> Why is Baroba in this film? His existence is an insult to one-celled organisms. So the sixth element returns with our little cousin who... The streets will flow with the blood of the non-believers. With the girls going at it? Baroba, man, they are not fighting. Looks like they're gonna play a match. 
Jesus, with all this grunting and panting, you'd think this just turned into a porn. Oh shit, I've been masturbating too much to this. The screen is getting fuzzy. hurt you with that shot. She's only a girl. What? I ain't got a snappy comeback for that. Just stupid. You're coming with me right now. Clearly, you're coming with me. The look on my face is one of seriousness. He said let's go, Bia. When you talk, Mao, do I listen? I don't need to be here with them. Wait. What? Oh, jeez. knew this was gonna happen again sometime. Let me try to explain. Our coach maybe didn't know it, but he created this rare opportunity to bring together two sides of the same coin. Oh, listen to how nicely she speaks now. Oh damn, what an actress is waxing philosophical all of a sudden. Where'd this come from? Oh shit, call a doctor and take a look at that arm. So finally the day of the match comes and everybody in the crowd is totally pumped. Okay. Alright. Here is where the movie really falls off the rails. I know these guys are probably running on a shoestring budget. They probably couldn't even afford a shoestring if they tried anyway. But, I mean, if you're going to do this, at least do something better than what you attempted here? A little bit, maybe? I mean, what follows is just a weird collection of freeze frames and in-betweens. Look! consider. This is called animation. And as such, there should be things moving in the screen. Somewhere. But there should be movement in the screen. Did you guys just quit at this point and say everything's fine? What the hell is this? Don't I know you from somewhere? I don't think so. Do you think he... could he recognize me from when I was a kid? No. No one knows that I was born in Vila de Bola, and nobody's ever gonna know it. I don't acknowledge my past or any of the people from it. Okay, I guess this is a thing now. I guess the coach had some sort of backstory. Hey, so what's the new plan? Hit him. You sure? What's that? The coach said we had to hit him. Bang him. The power of Christ compels you! The power of Christ compels you! The power of Christ compels you! One more outburst and you have to leave. No way. Do you defy me? You know who I am. I am the leader. You know, Darth Dildo. I crave sweater puppies. So the game carries on and the Bacana Club now has a three goal lead. When all of a sudden, BR has his blood sport moment. BR goes Brazilian Super Saiyan and scores more goals as the crowd goes wild. Piece of trash. You can't humiliate us like that. I'm gonna enjoy breaking you into pieces. I'm telling you now, it's over for you. But I do want to see if you've got what it takes to turn it around and win. Um, I'm lost on your logic, bud. Um, uh, 
that would be like if Ivan Drago from Rocky IV said, I must break you. And then followed it up with, I find the idea of losing to you intriguing. What? Seriously, what? <laughs> Gratuitous female crotch shot close up. And with more recycled footage, BR scores the winning goal, because of course he would. Why the fuck wouldn't he? Why would anybody fucking want to watch this if he didn't? Because, you know, good always triumphs and shit. I'd like to get together with you in a different way. Would you now? Maybe we can. Let's find out later. See ya. Bye. Later. Woohoo! Ha ha! Woohoo! Ha ha ha! Yeah, we did it! Yeah, man! Oh, yeah! Hey, all my paper cut out friends! An actual girl wants to go on a date with me! And she's not on the internet or lives in Canada either! Hot dog! Holy gravy! Ten people made this? Well, that explains a whole hell of a lot. And there you have it. Brazilian football passion. It's nothing more than a directionless story accompanied by some of the worst animation ever put to film. And with all Video Brinquedo films that I ever review, I'm always left with this one final question. Why in God's name did you guys decide to put this into English? I mean, seriously, voice actors cost money. Even shitty ones cost money. But you guys seem very hard-pressed to get it out to us, the English-speaking community, to embrace your content. And some of us do, for all the wrong reasons, because we realize your product is shit. And so, for me, especially on this one, I had a really hard time of thinking even of one positive thing at all, at all, about this film. I mean, at least with tiny robots, I could see some form of effort. With this one, I don't. Period. And so I'm trying seriously hard to think of one positive thing, and I can't. I can't. Oh, wait, I just had one. The movie's 53 minutes long. Thank God, because if it hit the 54-minute mark, I'd have jumped out a window. There, I hit my positive part. Good on me. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got Ricky One Porno to finish. Call me crazy. Bye! I think maybe found myself a new fetish. <laughs>